Julian and Francis now want to find out where Teresa's family came from. So they look up the 1881 census. Now, if you go online here, you can get the census. This is the 1881 census. Yeah. Which is the year she got married. This is Teresa we're talking about, yeah? This is our great-grandmother yeah. in Circus Street, and they lived at 22. Peter is here. He's the head of the household. He's 50, is that right? 57? He was a hair merchant, which we know. Where, Where born? born? Oh, look, he, he was, was German. German. Home. <laughs> More Germans. More Germans in the family. The census shows that most of the family, including Teresa, were born in Trier in Germany. Our mother won't be pleased. Um, well, we had no knowledge of that. Um, mm. You'd think Grandma would have known that her mother was from Germany. Mind you, you see, Grandma was very anti. You remember when we bought the dog? It was a German... Fancy getting a German dog, yes. And, and she was outraged that we had bought a German dog. And I think that obviously stems from the, the wars. Either they knew or they didn't. I would say that, that they didn't know. No. Well, I hope the BBC is going to pay for our counselling. <laughs> <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. Julian's travelling to Trier to see if he can find any trace of his great-grandmother, Teresa, and of her parents, Peter and Catherine Walter. This is um, something that's been kept quiet for generations. Well, I don't even know if my grandmother knew about it. But um, I know my mother didn't. She's been quite rude about my father's German blood. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Chickens come home to roost, don't they? Well, for all I know, there could be I could be rubbing shoulders with distant cousins now. Good afternoon. <laughs> she was one, I think. I've come to the archive in Trier to see if I can find any trace of Teresa or Peter, her father. So we have to look for her. With the help of archivist Dr. Rainer Nolden, Julian finds Teresa's birth certificate. And we just have to look here. On the 12th of January, in the night at 12 o'clock, there was born a child, and her name was Teresa. Born at midnight? Yeah. <laughs> well, that can happen. Well, she was Prussian and German. Well, I said they were Prussian. Prussian, yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Germany was a state, but uh, it had several uh, regions like Scotland and Wales and so on uh, in, in England. But it was the, Prussia was part of Germany, Bavaria was part of Germany, Saxony was part of Germany, Hesse, and so on and so forth. Right. But Trier was Prussia. Oh, good. It sounds quite glamorous. If you think so. <laughs> the records also contain Theresa's parents' marriage registration. This is Peter Walter again, and that's the lady, Katharina Grünhäuser. She was also... Is it, good is it Pierre? What? That's Pierre. It's, uh, that's, it's just Pierre. The birth register, he signs Peter, you know, and here he signs Pierre. And here's yes. Katharina, and that's also a very good and strained hand. Well, here, that's obviously her father, Hubert Grünhäuser, and he was a bricklayer, and he had a very, very heavy hand. He was drunk. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not at 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so lovely. I was just thinking, um, you know, 100 years before I was born, Peter, or Pierre, as he's calling himself, was uh, in this very town, signing his signature right here. And um, if he hadn't turned up that day, <laughs> then I wouldn't be here. It's just, it's just a funny sort of... Um, series of events that leads to you. He had no knowledge of me at all, obviously. I had no knowledge of him till a few days ago. 
but um, but there is there is a connection, a strange one. You find yourself in former Prussia, tracking him down. In the early 1860s, Trier was in the grip of an economic depression. Julian's great-great-grandfather, Peter Walter, and his young family were among hundreds of Germans who trekked 300 miles on foot to the nearest port and boarded a ship to England. Well, I can actually picture Peter getting ready to leave somehow. And, and it can't have been easy to leave, but he was clearly a very determined ambitious man with a lot of self-confidence to say, right, we're going to set off for England now with wife and very small children, probably walking. Um, and it's a very successful life he led, which is pleasing, you know, that he made up his mind that's where he was going to go and then he... he built up a new trade and uh, successfully raised his family, saw them all married. So he, he must have been quite, quite a happy man, quite pleased with his lot, I think. So, Julian's great-grandparents on both his father's and mother's sides had left Germany in search of a better life in Britain. 